Hey guys, welcome to your very first Java programming tutorial. Now, this tutorial is gonna be pretty much in depth, so I'm gonna give you theories along with codes. Now, in the first, very first tutorial, let us discuss what is Java? Why do we need this? How it just came in the world? So, let's just start it. Now, all of you, most of you guys know that before Java, C++ was the market leader. So all of the main uh, application softwares were built using C++. But around uh, early 1990s, there was a company named Sun Incorporation. Now the Sun, uh, the people in Sun were trying to develop something which, uh, in which they find some difficulty with C++. So that is why they tried to invent something that was easier to learn, that was cross-platform, so that it can work on any platform, and moreover, it uh, it has it is easier to learn than C++. And then they came with a new language called Oak, and the name was Oak because there was a oak tree uh, beside the office of the sun. Sun incorporations, but but Oak name was already been taken by something else, so they decided to go for a new name, and the new name was Java. So this is how the Java language really came. And if you want to know who just invented Java, this is the guy named James Gosling. He is responsible for the creation of Java. Actually, he was pretty much frustrated by using C++. That is why he created Java. So let's quickly look at the, some features of Java. Now first of all, the very very interesting and the most important feature of Java is Java is cross-platform. So if you are on Windows, if you are on Mac, if you are on Linux, if you are on anything, you can use Java. Unlike C++, uh, it, has to, it has to create different, I mean, different applications for different platforms. But in Java, you just write once and use it everywhere. So that is why Java is awesome. Now there are a lot of other cool features in Java, like it is easier to learn, and the beginners can learn it easily. So that is why uh, it is more preferred than C++ in schools. And Java, I told you before, it's cross-platform and it's robust, and it has the thousands of millions of applications. Uh, you guys know that the new platform that is Android platform is dependent on Java and there was that is pretty much the very little about Java. Uh, Java has a lot of lot of other cool features. Uh, we're not going to discuss all of that. You're gonna uh, look at a good book for that. So uh, in this tutorial we have just discussed a little bit about the history of Java and the features of Java. So in the next tutorial we will install and download Java and we'll start writing Java code. So just check out the next tutorial and we'll write Java code writing from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please please subscribe and thank you very much.